One of the titles given to the Imam of the time is At-Tarid. Listen to this hadith. Al-Asbagh ibn Nubata, who was one of the companions of Amir al muminin he says that I heard the commander of the faithful say the following. صاحب هذا الأمر الشريد الطريد الوحيد الشريد means the fugitive just want you to think about this for a few minutes the fugitive number one الطريد which means the outcast the one who's been thrown out Al-Wahid, which means the lonely one. In another hadith, Amir al muminin says, Imam al Hussein came and the Imam put his head over the blessed head of Aba Abdullah. And he said, Bi-Abi anta wa ummi yabna khayril Ya Aba khayril imam. أو يا أبا ابن خير الإمام May my parents be ransomed for you Amir al-Mu'mineen says this to Imam al-Hussein O father of the son of the best women خير الإمام This is a reference to who? To Lady Narjis alayhi salam He says you're the father of the son of the best maid. Then the Imam refers to the twelfth Imam. He says, The one who is faqeed, lost, missing. Outcast, tarid, shareed, fugitive. Who is he? The Imam gives more details. He says, Al Hujjat ibn Al Hassan ibn Ali ibn Muhammad ibn Ali ibn Musa ibn Ja'far ibn Muhammad ibn Ali ibn Al Hussein alayhim as salatu wa salam. The Imam is an outcast. He's been thrown out. What does that mean? Who's thrown him out? You might say, well, no one knows where he is. Let me ask you this question. Where is the Imam in our weddings? Has he not been thrown out? His values, his teachings, his religion. Where is the Imam in our birthday celebrations? Where is the Imam in our business dealings? Where is the Imam in our everyday lives? If you had something you were ashamed of in your home, would you go invite a grand ayatollah to come and visit you? Or would you hide it? If you had something that you felt was not suitable for this grand ayatollah to see, how many things in our lives would we have to hide or change or alter if the Imam was to come into our lives, have we not made the Imam an outcast ourselves?